a day in the life of our electricity. So first of all, we burn coal to heat up water, then the, when the water gets the shits, it'll start vibrating, it'll turn into steam, and then we grab that steam and piss it off at high pressures into a coil inside a magnetic field. It's actually a spitting magnetic field inside a coil, but the first one was easier to build. And this works because of electromagnetism, which means when there is electricity or a current flowing through a conductor, there is always heat and a magnetic field. No one gives a fuck about heat, it's the magnetic field that we like. Because if you move a conductor inside a magnetic field, it induces electricity, and it has to be moving through the magnetic field for the electricity to occur. If it's just sitting there, inside, not moving, no, no current's gonna flow. But pretty much this moves electrons back and forth, creating what's called AC electricity or an alternating current. And then we step the voltage up to hundreds of thousands of volts, and we do this using electromagnetism again. Because when we put a current through a coil like this, it creates a magnetic field which induces a current in this coil. But because this coil has more turns, a more permeable core, and a bigger dick, it has a lot more voltage in it. So we can fuck it off down power lines. Then it'll reach a local substation which will do the same thing as we did over there except the other way around. A big dick coil will induce a smaller voltage in another one so we can send it off to the street. And then when it hits the street we do it once more to get it to around, I don't know, 240 volts if you live in Australia. And that goes to your switchboard. It'll come off the street lines and into the power meter thingy. Then starting with the red cable or it'll go up and around and then it'll go to your switchboard. It goes to the top of the main circuit breaker in your switchboard out the bottom and then goes to the top of the RCD, or residual current device. Circuit breakers stop appliances from shitting itself, and then RCD stop dumb cunts from killing themselves. Then it comes out the bottom of the RCD and loops to each circuit breaker. You might have, you know, two circuit breakers for lights, two, two for power, two for your rape dungeon, and maybe one for an aircon if it get, in case it gets hot, whatever the fuck you have in your house. So it runs to those circuits, through the circuits, through whatever light or power point you have, then will come back on return cables called neutrals. And they will come back all to a neutral bar, which they all connect touch tips like a gay porn, and then fuck off in one cable. And then they'll go up through the RCD, out the top, through the main circuit breaker, and they'll fuck off to the street. And if any appliance has exposed metal that the electrical wire is touching it and has made live, it'll go out through the earth, which is the green and white, green and yellow cable behind me. 